In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the hash any error here in Google Sheets. So the hash any error simply means that the value is not available and it's usually seen in the VLOOKUP function. So we have our sample data set right here where I'm going to try and demonstrate how this error appears. So we have the customer ID and the customer name. So we're trying to extract our customer name based on our search key right here using the VLOOKUP function. Let's start our formula. We have the equal sign, type in VLOOKUP. Here's our syntax. So that's our search key right here, comma, our range, which is this one, comma, our index, which is the number of the column where our results are going to be. So that's in index number two and and for if it's sorted then that will be false press enter and there we have it so we have this customer id with a customer name if we're going to double check here it is so that's correct so i'm just going to edit my formula and lock in or put these range in absolute reference with the use of the F4 key in my keyboard. If I press enter, it will still give me the same results. If I drag this down, it will be showing me the hash NA error. So right now the error is telling me that it did not find the value that corresponds to this customer ID in the VLOOKUP evaluation. So again, that simply means that the value is not available and, or it cannot find it within our range. So to fix this error, we're going to be using the if any function, the if error function, and the xlookup function. So with the if any function, this will detect that if there is an error, it will give you a different output instead of this error message right here. But since this one is not an error, we're only going to be applying it to this one right here. So let's go ahead and copy that formula. Copy we paste it right here again it will give us the same results which is the na error now we're going to edit that formula again to not show that error so before the vlookup function we're going to put in the if na function there we go so that's our value which is the equation that's giving us the error comma and now we're going to be putting in another value if that error is detected so in quotations, we're just going to say data not found instead of the error. So that's the value that we want it to show instead of the hash NA error. If we press enter, there you have it. Let me just double click on that. And here we have a message that will tell us that the data is not found instead of this error message right here. We're going to do the same thing with the if error function. So again, let's paste in our formula. There we go. If we press that again, that's going to give us the error message. But if we edit this and put in the if error function again before the VLOOKUP function, there we go. Here is our value at the end of that formula. Put in a comma and in quotations again, we're going to put in the same thing. Data not found closing quotation marks, press enter, and there you have it. Now for the xlookup function, let's see how this goes. So equal sign, xlookup, there we go. Our search key is this one right here, comma. Our lookup range is this range right here, comma. Result range would be in this second column right here, comma. And for the missing value, this is what the xlookup will give you if it cannot find the value that you're trying to look for. So with this one, since it's not an error, if we try and do that with the xlookup, let's go ahead and do that. There we have it. It has given us a suggested formula that we have accepted. If we press enter, it will give us Howard Stevens because again, this is already found in our data. Meanwhile, this one will give us the error, which is this hash and a error that will tell us that our value is not found in the VLOOKUP evaluation. 
which we have easily fixed with if any function, if error function, and the xlookup function. And there you have it. That's how to fix the hash NA error here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.